Right then, time for a bit of a quick update on the small scale um, for a small month build. Um, just a reminder, I am building this the ICM Admiral Saloon. Now, what I didn't know at the time of purchasing this was that this was the second release of this kit. And the first release was uh, the Cabriolet version, so a soft top version. And actually, I prefer the soft top. And it turns out that you've got all the parts that you need to build the soft top version in the kit, um, as long as you're having the soft top fully up so there was a sprue that had it collapsed down which is excluded from this but otherwise you've got everything you need so i'm now building the soft top version which i think will look um, a little bit different um, on the diorama that this is ultimately going on at some point in the future so this is going to be uh, looking a bit different to that and um, this is where we've got to um so this is um just about two evenings work and two lunch breaks so probably nine or ten hours in total i reckon um so we've got the the soft top cleaned up and ready for priming we've got the seats uh, made up ready for priming the really really nice tires made up you can see these are made from layers of individual parts so there's um uh, five parts is there in there yeah five five parts i think um for each tire the wheels are made up uh, ready to go although i've not got the hubs on because they're going to be chrome hubs um the doors are going to be painted separately and the door cards separately because these are gloss black like the rest of the vehicle um, and the same with the door pillars. And these are going to be um, leather, like um, uh, a brown, uh, a brown leather. It was either that or go with a, a grey colour. Uh, and I, there was just with that going to be grey and this going to be black. I just wanted something to break it up a little bit. Um, uh, and the actual vehicle has gone together okay. Now to save time, I have omitted the engine, so um, that's quite a lot of parts that i have uh, skipped past but that gives me an engine i can play with uh, with something else at some point um so yeah so the the chassis builds up really nicely goes together really well um then we've got the the cabriolet back on uh, what i did have to do um that the hinges um on this weren't very good because the uh, the boot lid um, is a separate part on the original Cabriolet kit. Whereas when you get the saloon version, if I can just get that out, um, it's all molded into one. So um, there was a gap, a big gap in the uh, hinges and it looked awful. So I was able to remove them with a chisel from this one that I'm now not using um, and glue them over that. So that looks a, a lot better. Um, and we've built in the dash um, there so a little bit of filling to do um, in a couple of places uh, and then we're ready for um, priming uh, it was quite tricky to build this up and I've ended up the, the whole front end from this point forward um, has been built in a different process to what the instructions suggest let me show you what the instructions have you doing um, so you can see here, they have you build up the two halves of the uh, inner and outer of the wing and then mount the bonnet on. Well, I could not line those two up to my satisfaction. So I've ended up putting the inner in, then the bonnet half, um, and then putting that over the top. And that tidies up what is a bit of a, a, a crooked join. Uh, so as long as that is meeting with that and that is meeting with that, that bit doesn't matter so much. And um, it's gone together, you can see, really quite well on this side. 
Um, but I would have never have matched that up um, to be slightly higher than the inside bit. Um, on this side, it's not gone together quite as well. So it's definitely worth building the inside uh, wing half into the chassis and then building up from there. Um, and then we've got our um, mounting points for the bumpers, which again will be will be chrome. Uh, and this is going to be a staff car, so it's got the no text life uh, life on it. Um, and yeah, it's looking pretty cool. So we're going to give it um, a coat of black primer, and then it'll probably have a run a rub down, a second coat of black primer, uh, another rub down to get it all smooth, and then we'll start adding some black paint. Uh, and when we're happy that we've got a nice finish, we'll start glossing it. Then we can start building it up. So um, like I did on the build last year, we'll put some masking tape carpet in. I'm probably going to put um, some masking tape at least into this square here um, as a liner, which will cover up all these unsightly uh, uh, marks. And we might put a few little ribs in as well, which... Um, it's probably quite authentic, so uh, we might run a little bit of a uh, uh, rod or something across there, um, and we could probably paint them chrome, and that would that would look quite nice. And you probably are going to be able to see that once that's that's on. Now, when I fit this in place, there is a slight gap, but I think that'll all come good when we glue it glue it together. Um, but yeah, you will be able to see the inside surface of the roof, so that'll be worth doing, I reckon. So that's where we're up to so far. We've still got glazing and decals to do, and we've got all of these parts as well. Most of these are chrome hubcaps, windscreen wipers, bits of trim, bumpers. There's um, some bits that are no longer required, uh, like these. Um, but we still need the other bits that are on the sprue there. Two-part steering wheel, which is nice, makes that nice and easy to, to paint. That's going to be tricky to remove without breaking it, but we'll have a go. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're, we're sort of... Uh, we've got it moved along quite well in, in just um, three days. So um, next stage is to do all the priming. So... Um, I've taken some footage of the build. I'll cobble something together and at some point get out a little um, sort of um, sh quick and dirty build diary. There you go. That's my update and um, there'll be another update uh, about the same time next week. <music>